Hi, I'm Justin Owen from HALS, part of the Future Classic team from Australia, now living in Los Angeles, California. Touring DJ, producer, been on the road a lot the past couple of years with Flume and Taku. And uh, now I'm here to show you a few things on Serato Sample. So I've been on like using Ableton and began with like the MPC 2000 Excel. Going from using that, it's something that has the same sort of functionalities that I'm used to with the older gear, but just a newer flip on it. The label that I'm on, Future Classic, opened the studio um, and I was the first person in there, so I just wanted to see how the room felt and sounded. So I just started chopping up beats and making sounds with it and just started off by grabbing like a sample that I had there out of a sample pack and just threw it in there and then hit the find samples button, which is always great to just see what you can you know, come up with without really thinking about it. And then just ended up with having it randomized like that. Just a bunch of weird metallic sounds. And then that some were just hitting off. Doesn't necessarily need to be on time, but it had some sort of unique quality to it. I made a copy of the first time, like I recorded in the, uh, the hits into here. So you had like all the MIDI reading of it. And then, yeah, made a duplication onto the next one, which was, yeah, another bunch of weird sounds that I found. And just kept the same MIDI file, so it was kind of doing the same one shots on top. Yeah, so then that started doing. It's kind of more <laughs> weird and metallic sounds on there. Just really like the way that you can have, you can keep that same, same pattern that you've already grooved in and just move it through the sounds that you've got as long as, and then change the two points to wherever you see fit. It only took like, probably like 40 minutes to an hour to come up with this. I mean, it's like quite, quite bare bones of a track, but I mean, it's, it's a pretty fun idea. I like making music and, you know, moving on to the next thing quickly. So it's good to like, be able to have that functionality to chop samples like that and then use it with other bits of software that I like and familiar with as well. So it's kind of really great.